Hey guys, thanks for um, watching another uh, another uh, review. Uh, we got the four Lay's chips um, that just came out. I thought it was five, wasn't it? But but there's four. Somebody else talked about four. I'm like no, there's five of them. So I don't know where the fifth one is. If it's at a certain location, the Car Carnitas Street Taco might be saying it wrong but it's kind of like carnitas street taco but i don't see that one i don't know if they have it at 7-eleven and not at walmart or they just don't have it at all but these are the four um that we have uh i went to the store earlier and i was like oh they don't even have them they're not coming out and i turned around it was at a display so they have the philly cheesesteak we have the how do you say that chili relno we have Nashville hot chicken and kettle cooked New York pizza. Before you even open these, which one do you think you might like the best? I don't even know what the heck that is. It's like Italian type. No, it's a pepper with cheese and stuff. It's very chili. Like Inspired by Coquina Azul, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Uh, they're all inspired by a different one. So this is out of inspired by Grimaldi's Brooklyn, New York, the pizza. Uh, the Nashville is inspired by Party Foul. By Party, it's inspired by Party Foul, Nashville, Tennessee. This Philly cheesesteak is inspired by Gino Steaks, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Okay. Okay, which one you want to try first? Yeah. I don't know which one I probably would like. I think I might go with something weird probably. I might like this one the best. Yeah, I may like either the chicken or the Philly cheese steak. Chicken or Philly? Okay, well let's try this one then. Let's do that ticket. And I keep saying, I'm, I'm just messing with whoever that made this. I always say, oh, somebody thinks New York has some hard pizza crust because ke kettle corn's like hard. There's a lot of seasoning on the bag, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Like there's seasoning all in that bag, like right there. It looks like a barbecue chicken, barbecue chip, just looking at it. You smell like oh, grease. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and I don't smell pizza. It just smell like grease. Smells like grease, okay. Okay, New York has greasy pizza, I guess. At Grimaldi's, I'm not sure. Okay. I'm trying to find the pizza. I feel it like a tomato. Like a tomato base. Like garlic and cheese. And garlic. Yeah. I don't trust it. You know one or you good? It tastes like an Italian like pizza. <laughs> oh, I got more season than that last one. Yeah, the first one in here had a lot of season. Okay. Well. Yeah, there's some that has a lot more season than the others, like that one has more season than It than tastes that like one. pizza. Like that cheese that you put sprinkle on it. It's not really. It's subtle. It's it's to me. Well, it tastes like pizza. That last cheese bit. Since I, I was about to say it was subtle, and that last bit was right there. It tastes pretty good. It's not. It's not like too much. Too much flavor in there. Like it's gonna. Better than some of them other chips that we tried yeah. last time. Some of them had too much flavor, some of them not have enough. So they didn't overdo it with the like the fake stuff. So here's another one. It looks just like barbecue again. I don't know if you've even seen that bag. I smell those. Yeah, this one's this one looks like barbecue chips too. You can smell this one right when you open the bag. So it's I was just thinking of something hard because I just had that hard one. I taste the spice. 
<coughs> yeah. It tastes like fried chicken skins. Yeah. It's like chicken pork rind, like chicken yeah. rinds. Kind of like a light, light, a light chicken rind with some spice on it. Don't it? Yeah, it tastes like fried chicken skin. That's okay. It's a little spicy, but it's not. It's not too spicy. I've had. I think I've had Prince's hot chicken from Nashville. I couldn't eat it. It was too hot. The Hattie Bees is real hot. I've never had. We got a Hattie Bees here. I've never. Oh had yeah. <laughs> we did a Hattie Bees contest. My eyeballs as red as your shirt when I got done. That's what the lady with the big camera said. She goes, your eyeballs are red as your shirt. Okay. Yeah, this those the, are pretty good. I was expecting the them to, since I had the Nashville hot chicken before, I was expecting them to be too hot. Oh, yeah? Like they overdo it? Like, hey, we got the hottest, hottest chicken around? Yeah. Okay. This one, this one's Philly cheesesteak uh, inspired by Chino Steaks mm. in Philadelphia, PA. You want to smell it? Sweet or like cake or something. Mm. This one, this one looks like so. So it's a funny smell. It's off. It smells like it's a hint of sweet. I don't know what that smell. It's weird, and uh, when you put it, as soon as you put it in your mouth, and like a second later, it's. I don't know. It's. I don't. Try again. I'm not. I'm getting some good flavor, but not Philadelphia steak flavor unless I eat a little bit more of them. You got a crunchy one. I like those kinds. No, it tastes like. like roast beef or something. These are weird flavors. Yes, yeah, weird. It tastes like the juice, like oh, the, that. the dip stuff. What's that called? Yeah, I forgot what they call that. Al jus. Al jus, yeah. That's what it tastes like. I would say it doesn't taste just like that. I mean, it tastes like that because it tastes like roast beef. It tastes. Juice. It does taste like the seasoning of that. I wouldn't say the in depth, like the depth of it, but it's. I would. You would, like if you had some of that, like a broth, like real. Deep flavor, you really get that. that tastes like that She's juice. got a different bag. I just got a good nose. You do well. I can taste, but it's like I tasted that before when I was in Las well, Las uh, Vegas, and I did. I had the whole cup of that. I've never had one from there, so never? I don't know. But that tastes like the juice that you dip them in. Mmm. I get a little of it, but I don't get to that extent where the brothiness like is like really bold. If I would have ate that without even knowing what it was, I would have said it tastes like roast beef. Would you? We should have blindfolded you. Well, you should have. Yep, since she knows it all. Okay. You show sure eating them for not liking them. They're okay, but they're not like. I don't get Philadelphia cheese from there. Philly cheese steak. I didn't say Philly cheese steak. I said it just tastes like roast beef to me. Okay. You know, I mean, I actually, I'm not going to lie. Out of all three of them, I do like that the best so it far. It has the most flavor, but it's just the yeah. weird flavor. Okay, this last one is Chili Rel No, um, inspired by Coquina Azul. It's probably like Relinio. Huh? It's probably Relinio or something like that. It smells good. It smells like jalapeno, like a pepper. Chili. Chili, chili. You know I was going to go there. Yeah. <laughs> what? 
You don't like that earthiness? That that earthiness of the pepper taste? You know what it reminds me of? What? It reminds me of the Anthony Davis chips. Really? It got a hint of that. Now that you mention it, just it a very, hint very a little lime, hint, but like, it got I would not. Flavor. I would not put no nasty chip in that category. That, mm -mm. that one is a no. It's too herby for you, right? Like herb. Oh, it's a no. I'm saying this is my second favorite. I like the Philly cheese. This one. I don't know. The, the, I like, I'm going to say this. I like the Nashville chicken. These first? The pizza and then the cheese steak. That can be in the bottom of a lot of chips we've been trying. Not just these four. That one reminds me of those Anthony Davis lime chips. Out of these two, for me, for, for the last one's this one. I'm picking this one as third instead of fourth because this one's spicy. This one just doesn't have a lot of flavor. Um, I, I I get a hint of the pizza. I don't just I don't just taste like hey I'm eating a pizza type thing. It's a chip. Um, between these two, I, I like the Philly cheese the best, and then this one second. She likes this one very last. So, you always be saying you don't want no more jalapenos or nothing. This is not, it's not hot. It's not. No, I'm not saying hot. I'm just saying that flavor. Because the last chip review we did, you was against jalapeno flavors. Well, it's, it's kind of hard to. You it, secretly like the Anthony Davis chips. That's what I no. feel. Yeah, because that's what those taste like. No. I bet you ate all them chips. Okay, it says try them all. There's only four of them. I don't know where the fifth one came in at. Like somebody lied. So we got all four of them. Try to see the ingredients. Chicken fat. I tried to see that on the, uh, no. It says street taco right there. The blue one is a street taco. Oh, dang it. Well, they said try them all so they get all of them but this bag on there. Yeah. So, we we can't find the, the street taco. We got to do the this whole thing over. It's a wavy, wavy chip. Wow. But if they taste anything like that bag right there. Well, guys. I don't know what to do. I guess we're going to have to do just one video of street tacos. Or you have to try all these again. I'm not trying that one again. Okay. Well, guys, um, if you um, try these, let us know in comments. Um, and if you can find the Carnita Street Tacos, uh, let us know where you found them at uh, so I can I can try those. But I got four of the five, and I really wanted to get all of them. They just didn't have it in the store. Uh, I, sometimes they have a specialty store where one, one might, not, might not be at. I think it might be 7-Eleven. I changed my order. Still the Nashville hot chicken. But the Philly cheese steak and then this one. But it tastes like pizza. Like it tastes like pizza sauce, all that. The little cheese. Okay. Sprinkle so we're kind of leaning toward we both out of all of them. The Nashville. The the Nashville and well, the cheese steak. I still say this and I so well, there, if you like peppers and lime, then that's your thing. If you like the Anthony Davis chips, and, no, that's no, your thing. because I don't like Anthony Davis chips. These are taste different than Anthony, no, Anthony Davis don't. chips. They're herby, it's okay? Not as strong as okay, well that might be that. It's not as herby, but it's herby. You the can, light version of Anthony Davis chips. Whatever. Okay, I'm gonna try another pizza real quick. Maybe I'll change my tune. Look how it looks like it's pizza sauce all on the top of the bag. Like <laughs> Well, did you like the texture of this one? Like, did you like it? I don't too much care for kettle chips because most yeah. of the time it's not. I don't know if the flavor doesn't stick to them like it needs to or something. I don't know. Most of the time they don't put a lot of seasoning on the kettle chips. Because remember when we tried the voodoo chips, the kettle ones? No. Neither one of us liked them. It was like no flavor on them. So I don't know if it's a problem with the flavor. But they look like they got a lot of, I don't know. 
I'm trying to get what else. Maybe I it's because they're so greasy, and the grease nah. just takes. Cause these have a lot of flavor on it though. But you also taste a lot of grease. Vegetable juice for color. I don't know. But I'm trying to try out where I what kind of tastes like like this in the store. Like what what cheese pizza. It tastes like cheese pizza. Cheese pizza with that the whatever's in that shaker thing. No. It's definitely not that. It's cheese pizza. You're talking about Parmesan? It don't taste like no Parmesan. It tastes like cheese pizza. I eat cheese pizzas all the time, and that's what it that tastes like. You always getting the meaty pieces. Maybe that's why I don't know I what a cheese pizza tastes like. I eat cheese pieces. Uh -huh. Just like I ate cheese pizza last night. Okay. Well, we're all over the place with this review. No. No? I'm right where I need to be. You are where you need to be? Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm going to try one more of these since I tried everything else. And, uh... I don't know what to say, but I, do, I feel kind of cheated because we didn't try the fifth one. I told you it was fine, but you didn't want to So we it. just need to just stop this video and go find one and put it in the video? I have to put it out. I got to put the video out. You so, do whatever your heart tells you. So do. the fifth one, I was going to have to do a review live or something. Just do the fifth one because I don't want to do another whole review just for the one. Okay, guys. Well, we'll talk this out later. So, but, uh, <coughs> thank you very much for uh, watching the review. Um, and like I said, if you guys try these and you like them, um, let us know in comments. If you try the the ones that we couldn't try, the street taco ones, let us know where you got it at too. I wonder and, if the street taco was gonna taste like. What's that? People don't like cilantro. Oh yeah. Because you know like, they like always soap. put that. Um, Some people say cilantro taco. tastes like soap. Doesn't taste like soap to me unless it's like a lot, a lot. But <clears throat> okay, well, I'm gonna shut this down, um, edit this video, and you'll be seeing it right now, like already, because you already saw the whole video. That's how it works. I don't know what to say. Bye. Talk to you later. Hey guys, I have hoodies in. The name brand are independent, so you know they are thick and high quality. I am have them all the way from small to 3X, uh, only in black right now, so just go ahead and look in the descriptions for that. Uh, I do have uh, t-shirts as well. The name brand of the t-shirts are Canvas. Uh, they are thick, they are soft, the logo wipes off like a bib, just like on the hoodie. So if you want those, please check in descriptions. Uh, they all are pre-washed material, so they won't shrink on you. So check in descriptions for the price and the uh, shipping and handling of that, because I do ship in U.S. and in Canada. If you haven't already, um, hit follow on The Garbage Disposal on Facebook and follow me there to get more pictures and stuff. Uh, please subscribe to my page. Hit the notification bell to get notified of upcoming videos. And hit the like button if you like it. Other than that, please share it with your friends, family, and even your boss. Have a great day unless you made other plans. <laughs>